after two days of protests, a spiralling battle against government plans to curb civil liberties in Georgia may have been pulled from the brink. The ruling party announced that it would step back from draft legislation that protesters said echoed a civil society crackdown in Russia. But no one is taking that for granted. We just want to fulfil our dreams and we want to uh, finish the job that uh, we started uh, two days ago. Of course, uh, it's great news that uh, they want to cancel, but uh, this um, order still exists and uh, if uh, it will be cancelled, we will be happy. Georgian opposition leaders treated the government's announcement with extreme caution. Today early in the morning, the Georgian Dream published the statement that they, they, they are ready to cancel the bill, Russian bill, that provoked the protest, peaceful protest in the streets, Tbilisi streets. We do not believe in this political statement because we have very sad experience that Georgian Dream has lied public, uh, Georgian publicity several times. Wednesday night saw violent confrontations with police using tear gas, water cannon and stun grenades. The protesters insisted the so-called transparency of foreign funding bill, supported by many MPs on Tuesday, would stifle press freedom, silence dissent and compromise the former Soviet country's chances of joining NATO and the EU. The bill requires NGOs and media outlets receiving more than 20% of their funding from abroad to register as foreign agents or face heavy fines. Around 80% of Georgian population still is very pro-Western and they see their future in West. So that's very important for our government as we see to demonize these people and to, uh, to damage the reputation of the organizations, of donors, of those who work with them and to isolate Georgia. The draft bill had the backing of the governing Georgian Dream Party amid chaotic scenes in Parliament. The Prime Minister, Irakli Garibashvili, said it would help root out those working against Georgia's interests. Interests that appear to differ from those on the streets. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera.